Hey guys, Mr. Bouchard here, and I'm here today to talk to you about Chapter 11. Um, so this is the Chapter 11 intro notes on energy, forces, and motion. All right, so today we're going to focus on energy. Um, so how can different forms of energy be described, and what forms of energy exist? All right, so just things to kind of think about as we move forward. Okay, so energy, what is it? It's the ability to do work. Um, so we look at how much work is being done um, by whatever is being transferred. Um, energy, remember, cannot be created or destroyed. Um, so it doesn't come out of thin air. It's transferred from one thing to the next. Um, so that's what we call the law of conservation of energy. Okay, so um, that's definitely something true about energy. So we'll look at the origins of it and where does it transmit from one thing to the next. Um, what are the different types of energy? Um, so letter A, uh, what is heat energy? So heat energy is thermal energy. Um, that's another word that they could use for it interchangeably. Um, it's the motion of the particles in the substance. All right, so a heat lamp as an example, um, you could feel the heat. Sometimes you could see it, but you don't always have to see heat because um, when you see heat coming off a heater um, most of it's invisible right you don't really see the heat transferring um, so heat lamp fire infrared radiation um, we know if we take this classroom here we load up with students uh, obviously it's going to get very warm in here because we give off body heat, and this thermal image shows that. All right, so you can see the red areas are the hotter areas, and the purplish, bluish areas are the cooler areas. So by the students, you can see the heat. That's where it mostly is. Okay, mechanical energy um, is basically energy with moving parts. Um, so muscles, uh, machines, wind, river. So water particles moving through a river are mechanical energy. Uh, waves in the ocean are mechanical energy. Again, so moving something, all right, moving particles. Wind, obviously the air particles are moving in wind. Okay, so that's what we're looking for when we talk about this. All right, just a little optical illusion for fun. All right, and if you actually try to focus on the dots, you'll see it actually moving uh, before your eyes. So kind of an interesting little thing. All right, uh, chemical energy is a range of molecules, compounds, and elements, and uh, can be transferred uh, into other energy forms by chemical reactions. So an example of that would be like fossil fuels, which you guys know we burn in power plants, we burn in cars. Um, so these are what we use to make our, our produce our energy uh, for our homes. Uh, food, all right. The reason why we eat, we need chemical energies uh, in our body, all right. So if we don't eat, you run out of energy. You feel tired. Okay. So by eating, you're restoring that energy back to your body, where it gets chemically digested in your body, and then uh, you use it to actually uh, do what you do. Uh, batteries. Okay, so you guys know batteries, obviously, like in your phone, same thing. So that's chemical energy because there's acid actually inside those batteries or elements that are giving off electrons, which therefore power your devices. Okay, uh, solar energy is energy from the sun. So light, heat, ultraviolet rays. Um, so again, some of this is visible, some of it is not. Um, so obviously the light rays themselves are visible. The UV rays, on the other hand, um, you can feel them on hitting your body because your body starts heating up, but you can't actually physically see them. Okay, uh, electrical energy is the movement of electrons. So lightning, as an example, that's obviously electrons going from the clouds down to the ground. Uh, also electrical circuits like in your home, um, they could be battery powered or they can be uh, powered by your electric coming in your house. 
and but the electrons are what's flowing through the circuit to power your devices in your house so that's all electrical energy okay uh, nuclear energy um, is atomic nuclei combining to form smaller or larger atoms or the reverse larger atoms breaking apart into smaller atoms um, so uranium plutonium um, any of the radioactive materials that are listed on the periodic table of elements. Um, some of them are more useful in different ways, um, but power plants sometimes use them, submarines are nuclear powered sometimes, weapons of course, we hate to think about that, but that's true. Uh, and cancer therapies actually, we use radiation treatments um, to kill cancer cells. The only problem, double-edged sword, you are actually treating cancer with radiation and we've learned radiation does cause cancer as well okay so that's an uh, interesting conundrum with that okay uh, what is geothermal energy okay so earth's heat all right so whenever you hear geo like geology or ge uh, geography um, that's talking about the earth thermal means heat so geothermal is earth's heat Okay, so this is using heat from inside the earth to actually power things, which is kind of neat. Some countries actually do this. Uh, Iceland um, actually lives off the heat coming out of the ground because they, they have a hot spot right near them, which is magma right by the earth's surface. Um, Yellowstone in Montana, Old Faithful, all right, that's called a geyser. So it shoots water out of the ground because it gets pressurized underground every so often. Um, so that's a cool little thing um, that happens as a result of this. Also hot springs, so if you've ever been to a hot spring, magma is close to the surface, water also is right above it, and it actually is like a natural hot tub. So kind of neat, some, uh, some places you can actually go in the water. Sometimes they're too acidic, so you can't go in that water, uh, depending on the situation. Okay, used for power and heating in some areas. Again, so this is an example of a geothermal power plant. So steam and hot water come up from the ground, which then goes and turns your turbine, and then the cold water that uh, is used up goes back down, and then you just cycle that through. And again, that will uh, allow you to power the power plant. And then same thing with heating, so Iceland, they bring that heat right into the, their houses from the uh, hot vents underground, which is kind of neat. Sound energy is the vibration of matter. So whenever you deal with any instrument, they all deal with some sort of vibration and particles. Okay, so when you look at a speaker, all right, they actually, you can see them bouncing around. The sound waves are coming out each time the sound... Uh, the speaker actually moves around. Um, you play a piano, you push down on the keys, there's a little hammer on the inside which strikes a um, string which causes vibration. Um, guitar, you string, uh, strum the strings which then vibrate. And then if it's electric, then they have a little pickup to actually enhance it more so. Um, even a trumpet. If you're buzzing your lips on the mouthpiece, um, the air is vibrating as it goes through the instrument, which then uh, comes out as certain notes. We'll talk more about this uh, in a little while um, later uh, in the chapters. Okay, light energy is next. These are wave energy in bundles called photons. Photons, because they're not just waves, they're also particles, okay? Um, so that was something discovered later on. Uh, they used to think they were just waves, uh, but that's not the case. So they behave like waves and particles. So they get their own energy because of that, and sun is an example of that, and light bulb. So those are light energies. All right, and just a little thing came up with so energy electricity nuclear everyone uses it rays of light gasoline you cannot create it or destroy it okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed that um, I'll catch you next time